What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ooch, and of course, I am joined by the homie Kai, and we are back again, once again. Hope you're all doing great today. Kai, what's up, homie? Not much. I'm chilling, ready to talk about everything we've seen lately since uh, we last spoke in the previous episode. Some uh, unfortunate things. <laughs> no cooler. Unfortunate. <laughs> I'm still banking on it, but yeah. Okay, that's okay. really that's that. That was just the one big thing that I was hoping for. But I mean, hey, I'm not saying we're not gonna get good stuff in here. I'm just saying that uh, I haven't seen the one thing I personally was looking forward to. And what's that one thing? Cooler. Okay, well, I figured. Just wanted to make sure we're on the same page here, but you know, there there could be there could be somebody else that you brought up to me earlier that I I did like very well not i i should put it it wasn't for a very long like i didn't put too much thought into it that's why obviously i want to save it for this episode when we talked about it um but the but the uh the idea or possibility that this unexpected character that we have yet to see could very well show up in this movie so absolutely so yeah, so obviously, guys, uh, this episode is basically, of course, as you can probably already guess, is going to be solely surrounding around the Dragon Ball Super, 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 Super <laughs> Hero. I just wanted to emphasize that this movie, Super, Dragon Ball Super, Super Hero. <laughs> As you know, it's, it's a very, it's very super. Okay, it's one of the, the, you know, Dragon Ball's never been a show to really try when it comes to names of anything. <laughs> really. Oh yeah. This is right. yeah, this is something. It really is. It's it's definitely something. But hey, it wouldn't be Dragon Ball otherwise. You gotta expect it. But damn, for a movie like this is gonna be on the marquee. You realize that, right? Yep. I can just imagine like 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 if if they have like a New York City showing again, like a premiere, I could just I could just hear it from, you know, people walking down the street. Hey, Dragon Ball is super super hero, and you know what I'm saying? Like that just, <laughs> that, that is going to be funny to just hear the mad the mass supers amongst all the other ignorance that I'm sure you you, you still get your people that are that still call this Dragon Ball Z, which I it's like, can you read? Hello? Like, where, there's no Z there. It's just super, and, super, super. Like, what'd you miss? Yeah, like, there's two supers. Like, not one Z, but whatever. All right. So, recently, for those that are, have no idea what we're talking about, you, you're probably annoyed by at, at this point in the episode. Uh, they recently had a Comic-Con at home 2021 because, of course, we're still in the pandemic. And uh, the San Diego Comic-Con, which would have taken place this at this time of the year did not happen so it ended up becoming you know one of those virtual or online kind of things and dragon ball had a very special panel as they called it the dragon ball special panel that took place during this comic con at home 2021 and during it they had a discussion amongst three important pe people with uh, no Norihiro Hayashida, Akio Ioku, and of course the legend herself, Masako Nozawa, the voice of Goku. So these three individuals were just kind of going back and forth, talking a little bit about the film that is upcoming. And funny enough, they, they literally spent about, I want to say a half hour uh, talking about nothing, pretty much. You know, it was <laughs> it was a lot of a lot of what we already knew but kind of going into the film conversations itself i mean all they really could show for this new movie was just some of the images that they showed off um which included uh some images of piccolo they spent a lot of time talking about some of the the the, the nitty gritty itty bitty changes that they did to his design which is like uh, color based with like his like shoulder and like you know his ca his inner cape and whatnot so you know if you're if you're into that kind of thing you know when it comes to like the I don't know designs and whatnot 
then have at it. But of course, not really anything exciting there for myself and probably Kai too, right? Um, not not this time around, at least. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So aside from Piccolo, I should backtrack. Before they showed Piccolo, they showed they actually showed this man's house, right? They showed where his house is at, the scenery, the waterfall. Granted, the artwork was beautiful, of course, but again, not something that I I figured people would really care all that much about or even expect to hear anything about or to even have them talk about for the length of time that they did i mean they were they were talking about it for a good enough amount of time to where it's almost like you would expect there to be a scene where they go to piccolo's house for some reason okay so yeah <laughs> um so there's that then we saw a new character who is unnamed yet, but they they have what seems to look like two forms, or it could be two different characters. I have no idea. The good one and the evil one. Okay, so there's your prediction with that. I, I Honestly, I didn't even think of it that way. Because, I mean, this to me, that character, the way that they looked, they could be either or. It, I guess you they could be a villain. They could be a, 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 a hero. A, a, a good guy or it could be exactly what you said maybe they'll fuse into uh to a three fin shark <laughs> yeah that'd be interesting so you know people tried to again really dissect these images right and the most you could really get out of this particular character was the gun that they they had on the on the on the drawing sheet there um it had it had some some japanese characters on it which roughly translated to basically saying if you turn a certain you know part of it here it'll shoot a different type of bullet something along those lines which is like okay cool he's got a gun with different abilities in a show that, you know, if you're using a gun, you're whack because it's all about, you know, the fists and, and kicks and power ups and ah, and not stuff anymore. Like that. We about to get this filler, son. <laughs> Damn, you think there's gonna be a filler film? <laughs> nah, I mean, it's probably gonna be lower expensive, but I just don't. I'm not seeing why it's so overhyped by the, um, you know, by like the creation crew. I don't know why. Like they've been working on this since Broly came out, you know, so they've been hyping it up for a long time. They've put a lot of effort and work into it. So I'm sure it's it's going to be good on some level, but maybe not the level that most Dragon Ball fans look forward to. Yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one, 100%. <clears throat> I won't say I won't say it's filler, but yeah, I, I I can I can understand why you would feel that way. And I'm, I'm and honestly, for anyone else that might feel this way, um, even in regards to the comments that a lot of people were making, calling this a slice of life, like whoa, yeah, that's what it was, <laughs> slice of life. Whoa, <laughs> like I'll tell you what, man. If it's one thing that I would not expect out of Dragon Ball, especially with, you know, seeing how it's been for, I don't know, the last 20 years, that is a huge curveball. I'll tell you that right Why now. Why would you especially, say that? Well, I, I would say that for the reason being that, you know, they do have, you know, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They have very humble and... Uh, you know, kind of like heartwarming moments and whatnot. Very like heartfelt type situations. You know, it's not always screaming and fighting, you know, but to say that this film will be like a slice of life, nah, like not for this IP because if you look at every single film, you know, and I'm even, you know, including the ones that quote unquote don't really matter anymore. Unless, you know, Toriyama decides to pull from them. You know, they all have 
they're, they're, they all have their their action and their um, you know their their dialogue of course and you know the 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 plot and the the things that you know the 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 problems the issues that that come to that you know of course they have to overcome whether it's you know the big bad of that film they have to just defeat or whatever the case may be i just think that with this film to call to just to to write it off as a slice of life i mean it's way too soon as it is right now i mean we could talk about this teaser which you know not much can be said outside of the fact that you know it is cgi looking it's very 3d looking um and people it's, it's got to be that, mixed though they've oh, never yeah. done it one way like that you know once they start introducing 3d they yeah yeah it's got to be mixed so people shouldn't worry yeah, too I, much i yeah i yeah man like listen guys for all the listeners and, and and bless all your souls that you know stick that stuck it out with us you know for 20 22 episodes now right um Please, please. If, if if you've never listened to us before, please listen to us now. It is a damn teaser, and there is nothing to really put all of your Dragon Balls in. You understand what I mean? <laughs> okay, because a teaser. Let me let me explain. Let me break this down real quick. A teaser. The purpose of a teaser for any anything, a video game, a movie, a TV show, is literally to do exactly that is to tease the existence of some of, of what is about to you know come out in this case it's the it's you know the dragon ball super super superhero okay now looking at the teaser for this particular teaser this teaser doesn't necessarily tease anything outside of the animation style right and again that also doesn't you know, it's not set in stone that the entire film is going to look this way. And like Kai said, it is most definitely, most likely going to be flipping back and forth between, uh, you know, a, a usual 2D type of, you know, aspect ratio that we would expect to see and this 3D plane type stuff. Um, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. And if you're worried about how it looks and if you're going to really try to dissect, because I will also acknowledge those that, you know, really took the time to watch that 13 second clip over and over and over again to really just look at it at every single angle, upside down, left and right on the toilet. I get it. <laughs> I get it. You know, and as a, as a Dragon Ball enthusiast myself, when we're really hooked on it, you can't help it sometimes, but let me let me let me calm your nerves a little bit, okay? I also recognize that with that bit of footage, we saw a very stale-looking Goku, and when I say stale, I mean that there was no lighting to him, there was there there was no like the the, the fluidity wasn't all there, and he looked very still, you know, especially with his dimensions because like. You know, when he's bouncing around, you would expect his hair to be a little bit more, you know, I mean, you know, you know, to move a little bit more. I mean, it's not that nappy, right? You know, that's crazy. And, you know, the 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 shine in his hair, you know, that that didn't move at all. And I noticed it. You know, that it's just kind of the, one of the some of the things that you just realize and you notice, especially watching it a couple times, maybe pausing it at, at some moments. And I and I and I totally see that and I get that. But however, let me just say this. It is a tease, meaning that the quality of even that could in, could definitely change and increase dramatically by the time a more finished, readied product is you know is is good for us to to see. You know, by the time a, a full length trailer drops, I'm sure it's gonna look completely different and it's gonna look a lot better than what the teaser is. I mean, again. Teaser's purposes are to tease the existence. It's not really, especially with you know with anime animation, it, it 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 doesn't it doesn't necessarily guarantee that that is it. Boom, you know. So take that and please let it simmer and just relax your nerves because it will be okay. I'm sure. 
I mean, yeah, well said. <laughs> Thank you. So the other thing, okay, well, two other things. Two other things that they showed off during this uh, little segment discussion panel was Krillin's uh, Krillin's art art board. You know, he got his uh, police gear on. My man's still out here patrolling, so good on him. And uh, and then the big and honestly, this is the probably the biggest takeaway from the uh, the, the the panel altogether is the pan art board. Okay, now. The, the the pan art takes a lot more away than the the teaser video itself obviously and why because it was revealed that this the, the this, this 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 daughter of gohan right everyone's favorite character pan is clearly older than what we've seen her in dragon ball super and she looks like she's about to be in kindergarten. Now, she's dressed in her kindergarten outfit, which is why I'm even saying that, because they directly said it out of their own mouths. And so that the, 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 the next clear question is what, Kai? Please, what is everybody asking? <laughs> the forever children. Will they get older or not? Nah? Okay, well that's one. That's definitely that's definitely a valid question for sure. That that is that is definitely real. Will Will Trunks and Goten actually age in this film? And I think I have the answer uh, to to strain things out. So before I give you guys the full answer, I want to go over some numbers really quick. Okay, now for those that don't know, a lot of the events that have been recently taking place in Dragon Ball Super have already surpassed the threshold that would keep things in a nice flowing continuous sense i guess if that makes sense um and i'm directly referring to this 10 year gap that super is literally uh taking itself in like that's where it takes place right um so when we go to the end of z Bulma and Goku both confirm that it's been five years since they have seen each other. And so that world tournament where, you know, they, you know, around that time where they meet up and whatnot, that takes place in age 784. Okay. This is also the same day on May 7th. It's funny how they have that, where that is where Goku flies away with Oob. And that is how the story of Dragon Ball Z ends. Okay. Now, if we go back, right? I'm gonna go back to where uh, Majin Buu was defeated, Kid Buu, right? This was ten years prior to that. So six months after, still within seven seventy four. Um, oh, let me see if I'm reading this right. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me take that back. So two years after seven seventy four, seventy seventy six, right? This is where Heyo Sungook special takes place. All right. Two years after that, 778, is where Battle of Gods takes place. One year after that, A779, is Resurrection F. Within that same year is Universe 6 Tournament, as well as Kai's favorite, Future Trunks, Goku Black Saga. One year. Okay, so we're now in 780, Tournament of Power, Dragon Ball Super Broly, and the Galactic Patrol prison arc with Moral. Now, we are four years away from that exact end of Z moment. So, as you probably could already tell, we have already broken this. We, we are literally, we have already, we have already retconned what was originally in the manga that Toriyama wrote himself. It, it, which is both in the manga. This is not a mistranslation. You can literally go whip up the manga, whip up the episode, whatever your preference is, and you will see that the line states five years. So right there and there, everything that we've been seeing for the last few arcs has has already surpassed that threshold. So, so what does this all mean? Why am I bringing this all up? Well, obviously, it, it's pretty important to, to note because, you know when you want something to 
have a, a nice flowing sense, you clearly want it to do, do, the, do, do just that and make, make, to have it make sense. Unfortunately, they've, they did what I feared. They, were, they wrote too much in to where now it, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a retcon because clearly by the time we get to that, they're going to have to say something different. They're going to have to change that entirely, which is crazy right so on the topic of pan since she is in kindergarten um at the time that this tournament takes place it is she is four years old okay and 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 look what happened during the 87 80 you know right as the tournament of power was happening pan was born Le legit pan was born during this year during this age so that makes sense it lines up so if, if we're to assume that, you know, this movie takes place around that tournament, this movie could definitely take place during that end of Z portion, which I would like to also add that potentially we could actually, this movie could actually serve as the end of Z in a sense. And therefore, whenever the anime hopefully you know, makes its return. Who knows? Maybe we'll see. We'll see it pick up right where that left off, which in a way would suck because I would have loved to see the moral arc animated. And I mean, even this current arc that we're in, I, you know, I would, I hate to see things, uh, you know, miss out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure. So what are you? So what are your thoughts on all of this? Uh, do, is there anything that I might be missing? Does it not make sense? Or do you want to add anything or say whatever? Nah, nah, it all makes sense. I'm just, I'm thinking about it and I'm thinking about like, what, what if it, what if it did line up with the end of Z and what if it didn't? Now I'm thinking about the easy side of, well, if it didn't, and then all of this ends up being some type of plot hole because, you know, nothing in Dragon Ball can really make sense. <laughs> it makes me wonder like did you know did Toriyama just forget about Oob amongst you know many other things is he just adding Oob to the list and that's why we're having a messed up timeline or maybe we'll see him in the next movie we were talking about that earlier maybe he's maybe he's the true unexpected character that um you know I mean no nobody would have saw that coming no I could tell you nobody saw it coming in the moral arc right so, exactly if this is supposed to take place after, you know, that's that would definitely catch a lot of people off guard. That'd be pretty cool to line things up. And you know what? If it does, I would like to say that this teaser had a very missed opportunity at revealing Goku in that exact same little teaser trailer just in his, you know, like the like his blue gi. You know what I'm talking about? Ooh, that yo. that would have been wild. That definitely would have been a humongous statement made. Like, this is where it takes place now. Right. <laughs> that would have been hyped. That would have so hyped me up. In, in one outfit change. Yup. That's facts. Because even with Pan, like, she got a brand new kindergarten outfit that I don't think we've ever seen her in before. Right. And, like, even if, like, imagine if they put, if, if she had her gi on from where she fought Goten in that world tournament at the end of Z. I that know. would have, oof. That would have been OD. And Goten in his teens. I saw that. I saw that picture in your video. It made me. It made me uh, remind. It reminded me of it. And I was just like, damn, he really looked like, you know, like high school Goten. And I'm like, what the fuck is he gonna look like here? Like fifth grade <laughs> Goten? Like, wh where are we at with this? My man, my man Goten had at the end of Z had the Yajirobe fit. <laughs> he had the hair, the Yajirobe hairdo, son. Yeah. But, they, um, they had to do something to make him different, man. Yeah. Spitting image. That's yeah. That's he. Yeah. He. You know. It's funny because it, it's so weird because like he was Goten. He came out Chi Chi looking exactly like his dad. Like right. Like Gohan has the same face, right? But he got a whole different hairdo. Like make him look. Make him a little unique. Okay. You know, he picked up the dreads, or I'm sorry, the dread, the threads, <laughs> you know, from from you know from Papa Piccolo over there. All right, but Goten, 
This man, I could have sworn at birth, came out with the orange gi and everything. Hair, <laughs> everything. Smile, everything. This guy literally was mini Goku, That which, which is crazy. So I wonder, I'm like, how the hell did his hair, right, go from straight up Goku, which Goku has had his entire life, has not changed one bit unless he's powering up. He went from the Goku dude to the Yajirobe dude. And then by the time GT come around, yo, he cuts it. I mean, well, he cuts it. Obviously, you can do whatever when you cut it yourself, but that's crazy. Like, the way he looked, I was like, dude, that's crazy. It looked, it look, it, it's probably he, he the, went from the, the human DNA. He went from the Goku to the Yajirobe to the fucking adult Gohan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... So yeah, so now you know it's funny, and I and I and I warned you about this, right? Oh no! Because <laughs> anytime, anytime you bring up something, it really does like so, uh, cer certain things just have to be said, and it just it unlocks more potential and thoughts and ideas that could go into this film that could apply. Because again, if we are to assume that this movie will take place around or right at the end of Z. To, to you know this movie will serve as the, the 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 gap closure then what you said to me which i'm about to say right now is that the superhero that could be oob right that, that could literally be the unexpected character that toriyama said himself right? right and they they and they showed him in the manga already which none of us was expecting i popped off we talked about it in the last episode. Have you missed it? Go go listen to it, okay? That part was fire. We might not have expected it. We might not have wanted it. But because it happened, I am not gonna lie, I'm gonna speak for myself. That shit was ridiculous. And Big facts. And, and 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 you know what? It really I'm not gonna lie, okay? The more you think about it, the more you realize that it could be Oob, dude, because that was just within the moral arc. Go back a little further. They te they name dropped Mans they did. before the Tournament of Power even happened. They name dropped him when, when Goku was looking to recruit Android 17. Right, and they, said, and they even straight up said, oh yeah, he's too young. He's probably not developed yet. We'll leave him alone. Oh, what do you Straight know? Up. A time skip. I'm telling you. The fact that you said that, it really makes sense. Which is, which in a way, it's bittersweet because I really would have loved to see Cooler. Yeah. You know. But I, I wouldn't be mad to see Oob because it makes just as much sense. Yes. It, it really... So it I really wouldn't does. even I wouldn't even like call it an L for that reason because both of them are perfectly fine. But yeah, just I am slightly more biased towards the cooler thing because I wanted to see more with the freeze of the Frieza clan and that's where they're going with this with this whole freaking granola arc, this nature valley arc. Right. <laughs> this <laughs> <laughs> he said, <laughs> yo, yo, he said, nature valley. Hit him with the Nutra Grain Bar clan. Dude, that's crazy. But yeah, like that, I, I, I really do feel like thinking of it long term, it, it, it really makes a lot more sense now when you take into consideration those things. And I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go on a limb here, and I'm. I think we might be the first ones to even say any of this, to be honest, because I was watching. Of course, I keep up with Big Brother, Big Brother Geekdom, who who will right. he will soon enough be making his return to the Full Power Podcast. He he uh, on his request, I should add uh, to the listeners at home. Yes, he he's been he's been wanting to come back on here for a long ass time. You know this. Oh boy. Yeah, <laughs> but. You know, I keep up with his videos. I haven't, I haven't heard one mention of of Oob, and and if and if I missed it, then I missed it because you know, then I missed it. But uh, as far as outside of his page, I be, I think I was watching. He he formerly went as Opai Senpai. I that's how I know him as Opai Senpai. But I I believe he's like 
uh, Mr. Sem, I don't know, something. I think it was something with Senpai in it. Um, but really cool dude. I met him in person at Kamehameha Con when I did the Broly panel. He is, a, he is a very, he's like a, he's like a Dragon Ball historian is the best way I could put it. He makes very good videos, very high pr production. Like, I messaged this man when he was making the Moro connections to like the Bahamut and the, 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 like the, the freaking, the demons and all this crap. Like he, he really connected the dots. I was like, bruh. This guy, this, this character's OD, like before we even saw him fight, right? He really pieced it all together nicely. And he had a live stream um, discussion with a couple other uh, folks from the Dragon Ball community. And he kept it real. And I, and I appreciate him for, for keeping it real. And I, I definitely, I don't know, you consider this a shout out, shout out, right? He kept it real and he was like, bro, I'm not, I'm not happy with this. <laughs> He's like, I'm not happy with this. Like, this animation is is crap. And and I was like, yo, I can oh I always nod my head at, at people that keep it real. Alright, I keep it a buck, okay? Because and he said it too. And 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 maybe one day we'll get him on here. Maybe, maybe, right? But <laughs> he he said it straight up. He was like, I love Dragon Ball, but if I see something that is not good, I'm gonna call it out. And that's that's how people gotta be with the things that they love, okay? That's true, Whether it's though. their, you know, and that's exactly like that's facts. Like you can't, we can't be apologists. Like Kai and I, I love to I love to to brag about how real we keep it here, okay? This is how we've been for years, okay? I know this man for years. Facts. Ever since we started talking about anime, kept it real for years. Even if even if it was on some some stuff we didn't see eye to eye on, we always had our claims and our on our reasonings behind things. And especially when it came to Dragon Ball, it was just like like it, it, it got to a point where, and this is where we probably are gonna sound like elitist, but I promise we're not. Kai literally was like, "Bro, I don't even like talking to anybody else about this shit, bro. Real real shit." And I was like, "I hear that. I hear that." Now that doesn't mean that. I don't like hearing or reading comments and whatnot because I definitely love interacting with all you guys that have uh, been following the channel and whatnot, especially the podcast. But say, you know, say. there 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 are some folks out there that have some crazy takes. I'll say that. <laughs> That's an understatement, especially when it comes to Dragon Ball. I mean, listen, there's there's people that have been really trying to have some crazy you know super dragon ball heroes ass scenarios happen before super dragon ball heroes was even was a thing like <laughs> it, it can be it can be funny sometimes but i mean you know there's just a there's just a level of thought that sometimes we we we, we notice is just not there with a lot of folks out there but that's why we're here we're here to just help you guys unlock that them them inner thoughts and, and and really just think outside the box because if there's one thing dragon ball has taught me it is that to always expect the unexpected and to and to learn things when you realize oh and to and to learn new things that you thought was always meant to be because Right when you think you know something in Dragon Ball, Toriyama's like, actually, <laughs> it's oh, like this. God. Yeah. Classic. Yeah, this, the, that's the drag. That's the Toriyama classic right there. So, but yeah, in regards to this whole si uh, this whole situation with the film, I really do feel like it makes a lot more sense to to I guess predict. Or to for, foresee or, you know, to speculate that this unexpected person that is going to take place in this film would actually be Oob. Because the way I'm thinking of it now, scenario-wise, is that this whole superhero subtitle could actually be like, you know, like, it could very well be the end of Z and beyond. Like, we'll see Goku and Oob do the Terminator of Power, they fly off. 
Oob looks at Goku like a superhero, right? He is with his new master about to go on whatever new adventure, whatever training they're about to, you know, undertake. And obviously, this is where the entire rest of what we already would have known as GT would kind of either collapse or we'll see the the changes that because there's going to be some obvious changes once we ever do get to that portion of the overall story that you know is was told to us in this degree and i imagine like whatever they do i mean i, I i'm sure there'll be some training but there's gonna be some kind of of a problem that's gonna obviously take place during this film and goku's gonna have oob do it I hope that's what it is. I really do. And it's crazy how all of this stems from the pan showing. Because her being there in her kindergarten like suit is like, oh, this could take place here. This is where End of Z happens. World tournament. Oh, it's Oob. Boom. And then you make the connections back to how this man literally was the reason why they were able to defeat Moro point blank. And they name dropped him before the Tournament of Power even happened. So they've been literally easing Oob in to the story. And I feel like debuting him in this movie would make perfect sense. You know what? Going back to this is like, let me just be clear before I make this statement. I am reaching with this statement, but I just had okay. a thought and I'm just going to share it. Um, okay. They're not, you know, they're not so fire when it comes to naming stuff. But at the same time, you know, this is Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Wow, that sounds fucking horrible. However, super, super. Right. Um, however, when you think about it, Dragon Ball Super is all about the gods. It introduced the hierarchy of the gods and showing that there's a higher level of power that was thought unachievable, you know, by everybody who watched up to Z because, you know, we knew Super Saiyan forms, but we didn't know about Super Saiyan God. That took that took shit to the next level and beyond. Right. So right. they're using that word super as a. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a tier scaler, right? So if they're if they're throwing another super in here with this superhero, <laughs> wouldn't that bring the focus back to what this is about, which is like godly power? At the same time, they've not only name dropped Oob, but they've mentioned that you know Kid Boo and Oob is you know Kid the reincarnation of a uh, good right. you know good Kid Boo, but Kid Boo was the one that took all the godly power from you know Majin Boo. Hmm yeah superhero he's getting trained by goku he's super powerful he's got this godly you know he's got this godly power from you know being the reincarnation of somebody who once had it i feel like that Yo. that could very easily be the direction where this is going dude nah nah don't tell me Ooh, about to pull out ultra instinct in this film i'm not oh, oh that's reaching <laughs> yo you yo you want to know how i you know what listen a part of me wants it to happen just so i can go on twitter and see the freaking oh my god the people crying oh my god i can't believe it. yo that would be hilarious you know people are gonna be uptight about that shit right there But hey, I'm still kind of <laughs> uptight about Vegeta waxing his eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> waxing his eyebrows. <laughs> Shout outs to, to new destruction forms. Right. Some people are prophesizing that it's going to be like, oh, it's just it's just his omen version. He He's not fully transformed yet. I know. I yeah. Speaking of which, I'm actually I'm, I'm actually pulling up some comments from uh, last week's episode that oh, yeah oh we forgot to do that last time well yeah i i genuinely did forget yes but at the same time i don't even know if it would have made sense to read people's comments from like a year ago now <laughs> so <laughs> uh but yeah i mean 
Yeah, I mean, listen, that you're, but you see, you're, see, the thing is, your stretch, I don't even consider that a stretch. I, I really just feel like you added more legitimacy to my whole, like, you know, reasoning and backing as to why I believe it's oob. So you, ba you know, you just went with, well, re realistically, you went with your own theory because if you didn't bring it up, then I wouldn't have said everything that I said. And then if I didn't say that, then you wouldn't. So yeah, Dude, it, you know, you know what happened too? like, I, I texted you earlier today. I just one sentence. I was just like, dude, what if it's oop? Like, like, <laughs> like yep. out of nowhere, we weren't even talking or anything. I just had that thought because I just thought about these two shark boy looking ass, you know, <laughs> and lava girl. Right. <laughs> I was just thinking about it. And I was like, man, like, I'm trying to think of where this can go. I'm trying to hype myself for this movie because I'm so not hyped for it. So I was just yeah. thinking of, you know, like scenarios of how, you know, how I personally can like think that it would end up being cool. And I'm like, man, maybe one of them's maybe one of them's evil. And I was like, man, if one of them's evil, Goku's going to get his dumb ass confused on how many fins the good one has. Fuck it. So I started thinking about like superhero. <laughs> I was like, who's really the hero? There's two of them. Are they gonna fuse and become There's a superhero, super Namekian? <laughs> <laughs> like, what's this? What's this gonna be? So I started thinking about it, and it was like, man, unexpected character. Why would you show us the character if it's unexpected? We don't know who that is. Oh yeah, real unexpected of you to bring in someone brand fucking new that we don't know. And then I was like, well, right. who's someone we know? Well, Pan's older. T what if it's Oob? And I was like, wait. Mm -hmm. And then I started thinking, like, <laughs> the wheels started turning. I was like, yo, what if it's Oob? Yeah, that's just, that's just real. It is very real. What if it is? And like like we like we discussed, I'm more I'm more for Oob now than I am like anyone else, just because of what's what what foundation has already been been placed to the point where if it's not, I'll actually be upset. I think they would have to really pull They'd some. They'd have to really sell it. Yeah. Exactly. Not so. oob or cooler. You you gotta convince me that this is gonna be a good movie, <laughs> right? Like if it's not if it's not them two, and if it's not like I, it's clearly not Yamoshi because it's really not. This, yeah, like they're not they're not gonna have this guy in the, in the, in this film. Be you know just just cause like you would you would think that they would save him for like a true backstory film like. You won't see no characters outside of like maybe like one of those flash forward scenes, like similar to how right. Bardock had when he was about to get got and he saw Goku uh, defeating Frieza and shit. That's the only time you're gonna see those characters. You would you would hope that they would at least be smart enough and you know wise enough to save that moment for a true backstory film. But other than that, if it ain't if it ain't freaking Oob, it's not cooler. Then they better hit the Broly button because shit, I don't know, I don't know, know what else at this rate. Oh man. Because because honestly, look, anything else aside from those options that we just laid out for you guys would officially be random. Like, yeah. Point blank, dude. dude it's Cell. Listen, even <laughs> Cell would be random at this point in time. Like the the only connection that you could you could you could bring to me is that oh but goten and trunk were fighting cell juniors over there during the tournament of power on the freaking island that they was watching for android 17. look that is a i want to consider that a low-key stretch if it was Cell, because i i just for for right now even just off of that, I don't even think that's enough. But hey, I could be wrong. But if it's not Cell, I'm telling you, any other character would be so random. That's that's when you could consider it an ass pull at that point. Because you could just gonna be like, why? Like, how? Nah, like, I, I, would, I would still put Cell in the ass pull category. Yeah. I, yeah, I would too. Because it's like, come on. Like, I understand they brought back Frieza, right? But they at least did it right. And That's true. Yo, they brought Frieza back for the how many times for him to get his beat his ass again. And it still worked. Yeah, because, you know, he's a, you know, they, they at the end of the day, when you look at it at a grand scheme, like for the grand scheme of things, they do take into consideration character popularity. 
to a to to a degree. They do. And, and I mean, it took them. Look at how long it took them to bring Broly in. It, it like Broly was so popular over several years that by the time they had to all sit at a fucking round table discussion with Toriyama and say, so we're thinking of what we could do for the next film. And we really, we really think you should consider Broly. And what did Toriyama say? Okay. <laughs> because it's hard to ignore. You can't deny Broly. This man, I did a whole panel, filled the whole room. Everybody came to listen to me talk about how this man was the embodiment of freaking chance potential and all that and more. The man's green, he makes green. Facts. I said it just like that too. <laughs> Quoted, sourced. You're listening to the source, okay? <laughs> Broly has always been that, and he was he was the first of many, I'm sure, okay? And like, it, like it just goes to show, like with Dragon Ball, like I said, going back to you know, uh, you know, on topic, so I don't turn into a whole Broly thing, right? They look at the characters that are popular. Frieza was always popular, so they brought him back eventually. That's just how it goes. I mean, I don't know how popular Cell would be in comparison, but I would think that Frieza was more popular. That's a good question. I'm not sure. <clears throat> so. You know, for them to bring back Cell, then I would have to question, okay, at that point, is he only just as popular as he is because of the nostalgia? Because, you know, like as 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 strong as he was, right? You gotta think it's different comparing him to Frieza. Because Frieza was legit like the strongest out of everybody until Goku saw Krillin get fucking disintegrated <laughs> right and like Frieza was handing L's to everybody around him until Goku finally went Super Saiyan and defeated him but even then he didn't kill him Frieza survived even a planet exploding think about it he survived a planet exploding got put together like Legos and then it took future trunks to fucking seal the deal cell literally could have been defeated way early on and was and it, it wasn't for vegeta being as arrogant and stupid as he was they could have been had this guy got way before he became perfect you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah you're right so it took like like cell had some good luck on his side when you think of it in that grand scheme of things because if he didn't have those moments bro they would have bodied him free vegeta was super bulky vegeta trunks also super trunks bulky steroid trunks they already had gohan in the oven cooking right getting the super saiyan 2 ready in case and then goku of course was also in the brolic shit and then they had all the backup, you know, the, the, the TN, the Yamcha, everybody else. Like, come on. They were all playing this dude's game because he, what, why? Because he threatened it. And guess what? They only would have played, they only had to play his game because it was Vegeta's fault. So take that whole thing away. They would have had him done free. And let, and let's not also forget that when Trunks went back to his timeline, he bodied Cell by himself. And in, in his imperfect form, of course. But, you know, like, Cell, Cell, Cell and Frieza, they don't even compare. Because Frieza, in his, like, I guess his, like, you know, his un, untransformation form. This dude had those transformations in his back pocket. Cell needed the androids. Or else he ain't shit. So that's why I think people may just remember Cell for him being in his perfect and his life oh, perfection. Like they remember him for that shit, right? But realistically, is is all of them people holding on to Gohan's true triumphant moment in his whole career, and that's it. That's what it is. I don't I don't think Cell even comes close to popularity to Frieza by any means. Oh no, Frieza's too. He's rooted too deep. 
Yeah, hell, oh yeah. Definitely too deep. All right, so is there anything else that you would like to add in regards to the super, 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 superhero film? Uh, no, I think, uh, I think we got it all. All right, bet. So before we wrap up completely, I'm going to just <clears throat> read a couple comments here. And I say a couple because, you know, one comment alone could add another 20 minutes to, oh, to this no. freaking, you know. So let me see. I'm going to pick one. And again, guys, if you are looking to interact with us directly, definitely on the YouTube versions, leave a comment. Um, and I, I'm not, again, I, I have to look into this, but um, if you are at all able to uh, reach out to us via the Spotify or Apple Podcasts, if there's any kind of way to reach out. If not, I'll have like some kind of email for you guys to reach out if you want to just, uh, you know, write in or whatever, then feel free. And, uh, oh yeah, Kai, I was actually gonna, um, I guess I could bring this up now. How about, what if we did a live version, like once a month of Full Power Podcast on the YouTube? Damn, that'd be crazy, but I'm down because we, you know, we pretty much do it like this anyway. Right. You know, one take. Exactly. All right, sweet. So there you go. So we, how about, how about, how about we do it when you're all moved in, you're settled? Yeah, that would, <laughs> that would help. It'd be okay. a good start. Okay. All right. So, so it's not going to be for a while, but you know, it'll give us enough time for you guys to be excited for it and look forward to it when that time comes. All right. <clears throat> so first comment I will read, Kai, you can answer this one and I'll chime in afterwards. This person writes, how does this new form stack up against Topo y'all think? And of course he's referring to your favorite, no eyebrows, Vegeta. Oh man. Um, Dude, he has to, he has to body Topo. Right? I would think so. I would think so, yeah. Absolutely has to. I mean, all he did was, you know, kind of explode himself in the T.O.P. and it still got the job done. Right. So I would, I would say it stacks up pretty nice. Yeah, I probably have to agree with that just because I'm like, think I'm trying to think back. It's been a while, obviously, since I've seen Tournament of Power, but Vegeta defeated Topo, did he not? Yeah. <clears throat> you know, right, so this, I mean, you know what though, Topo used destruction without the earring. Uh, so would that would okay? Well, hold, oh, oh, oof. see uh -oh. now here here comes the rabbit hole. Okay, <laughs> here it comes. All right, so he did it without the earring, correct? The earring was established as like a sign or like kind of like, you know, a it visual. A, it was a symbol for those who can use the power of destruction. Yes. Okay. So that, yeah. So that we, we, we later learned that, of course, in what what is now the granola arc. And of course, we're referencing something that happened, you know, like way before. So can one argue, was his destruction like, you know, was it, was it like, was it the true destruction technique or was his not fully, you know, there? Like as, as, as would a, a true God of Destructions be on par? I mean, they kept saying he was next in line, but he was the only, only reason why he was next in line because Jiren said he don't want it. <laughs> so I mean, only reason Vegeta's next in line is because Goku said he don't want it. Oh, damn. See? Sheesh, this is why we talk about it. <laughs> That's, damn. That's fact. That's crazy. That's fact, yeah, absolutely. 100%. I just, I react that way because I just, I know some people, they just can't stomach even hearing that. Like, because <laughs> the truth hurts. you know how, dude, you know how pure Vegeta fans can be, bro. They, they are like, this is the best dude, period. And any kind of slander against him, even when it comes down to Goku being <laughs> above him, is unacceptable. So I just, I think it's funny. I, I think the reactions are hilarious at that point. All right, let's see what else. There was something else that I wanted to read that, uh... Oh, okay. I Okay, so this is, this is, uh... <laughs> this is actually a really funny one in my opinion. I'm going to read this one. 
And of course, I want I want you to uh, <laughs> I want you to answer, and I'll of course add my my two cents. So this person said, could care less about Vegeta, new unearned form. It's no exciting. It's not special. It's just something new. This series may as well be called Fanboy Dragon Ball Super Manga, because we have a fanboy helping making produce this shit chapter one out of ten. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, who shot on his favorite form? I I it's, I don't know. Good question. Um as far as the unwarranted hate is concerned, I think uh that should be looked at on its own. But I can't 100% disagree with it to be honest cuz it's unearned that i disagree with it is absolutely Thank earned you. i don't need to explain that i'm not going to moving on <laughs> um could care less about it yeah i kind of agree it's not really exciting it's not really special it is something we have seen even if it lasted for a single frame while goku was going to super saiyan 3 but um i don't know i'm not right now i'm not really i'm not really with it i'm not really you know on the new i'm not on the vegeta hype train again just because what he, they, they're gonna give him some new hair dye like fuck out of here like show me what happened with his you know spirit john show me what happened with all the other stuff yeah. and give him a freaking w you know i can get behind that yeah, 100%, 100%. so i don't know i i at the moment i can't 100 percent disagree you know it's like okay he he's got this but is he gonna get body next chapter well <laughs> find out next time <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's so, true yeah also i will add uh that they they actually went on to say they actually added to their comment they said that <clears throat> because i actually asked i responded and i said let me ask you what makes this quote unquote unearned right because i was curious I, I really wanted to see what they said uh, you fishing i oh, oh, I, oh <laughs> I reeled and caught that shit right there okay all right, so they said Vegeta looked dumb, just like this Super Dragon Ball hero ass fan made Frankenstein looking. <laughs> <laughs> At first, he didn't have a hairline. Now he doesn't have eyebrows. <laughs> he doesn't have eyebrows. Why y'all even bother watching this if they just going to get the, get modes for no reason or plot? It's just going to be another useless form until they make the next form and rinse repeat it's not exciting at all you know i'm not even gonna lie as comical as that shit was there's not there there's no like lies in within this 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 little rant exactly <laughs> it's really not <laughs> like that was very entertaining I'm not gonna lie. So I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna say thank you. You know who you are. I mean, anyone, anyone can literally read back these old comments if you want. That's what the episodes are there for. That's why the names are there for. But you know, just in case, I'm just gonna say, keep saying they, you know. But but they know who they are. So thanks for uh, commenting on the uh, the last episode. Appreciate you listening in. But I mean, hey man, what I have to say to that is you know the, the you know the usual stuff that we've been saying it, it it's it's dragon ball and honestly i don't really want to point the finger at toyotaro either okay like i don't want to necessarily be that guy and be like oh it's all his fault you know it, it, he, you know he's a he's a fan working on a thing you also have to remember it's not just him making the decisions you guys also have to realize toriyama is overseeing the manga okay he is involved when something is incorrect or is not done right, he still needs he to makes green corrections. It. Exactly. You know, they 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 literally go over everything prior to them uh you know delivering it, I guess, or executing it. Like they have their blueprint of you know the the storyline in a sense. And you know they 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 go about it they they, they they you know they figure it out and then they and then they and then they deliver it of course you know so on this regard you know in in regards to vegeta's new form i mean look i was saying it may be a little nicer 
well yeah you're not wrong <laughs> I, I would say i would say in regard to that comment i'm gonna say what you said uh last episode that i thought was really true was um you know it is it is getting very cookie cutter right now but hey everyone loves their cookies facts exactly yep the red quote damn only a week old i said that that's crazy so again guys thank you for uh tuning in to the podcast kai if you have any other things you want to say shout out anything that you're doing that you may want you may want the people to check out of your own nah uh i mean say a prayer that one day cooler will get his own movie (laughs) yeah again right uh we need it i agree i'll I'll take oob i'll take oob but we, we need it yeah we need it for sure because with cooler comes way more backstory and, and you know way what? more explanation and you know that. what leave a comment tell tell us who you think the unexpected character would be ah very good very good closing closing point there make sure you guys are leaving your comments as well as liking as uh, you know as well as subscribing if you're new um to get them alerts because you know i've been i've been definitely pumping out some other content as well uh, aside from Dragon Ball and whatnot, but yeah, let us know who you guys think could be the unexpected character and why. Let us know your thoughts on the recent teaser or lack thereof, and all of the images. And do you agree with what I said about where this movie could take place based on the uh, character artwork for Pan? And on obviously all the math that I did because right now. They're definitely, they're definitely past the threshold for end of Z making uh, quote unquote canonical sense because right now this is all a retcon to what could change the end of Z altogether as we know already know it. So it's been your boy Kai, it's been your boy Ooch. We are out. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you. But lock loader right here and stay inside. I will see y'all next time.